We are watching a series of videos to create a product strategy and product roadmap using AHA, one of the leading product strategy and roadmapping tools. In this video, we are going to see how we can incorporate competitor landscape in the product strategy. So under the strategy, you have this competitors, and this is where you can include the information about the competitors for your product. Remember that you should include both symmetric and asymmetric competition for your product. Uh, we are taking the example of an online grocery store. And what we are going to do is uh, just uh, copy and paste the uh, competitors because the uh, computer information has already been created by me and uh, downloaded as a PDF document. Uh, this is the document about competitors for an online grocery store. And the competitor happens to be one of the large brick and mortar organized retail store called Spencer's. So we put this information in AHA, go to computers, and add computers. By the way, you can also have an example of a computer. Uh, and this example is on Fred, uh, Fred Bin uh, bike app, which we have seen earlier. Uh, for our app, this is not very relevant. So we'll just add computers over here without uh, referencing to the example. So these are the details. Uh, so we can give the name of the computer over here. Expenses. Can give the website of the computer here. So with this, you can provide a threat scorecard also in terms of uh, what do you think is the product breadth of the computer, the ability to execute, strength of vision, and the market awareness. And these kind of detailed analysis you can do as a part of the computer analysis. Here, I'm not filling this up. Uh, if you want, you can have a detailed analysis and fill this up. Uh, also, you can add things like growth rate of the computer, what is the pricing strategy, any other information that you feel uh, are available, for example, with the information about employees is available, the information about revenue is available. So uh, we don't have the information here for this particular computer, but yes, if you have to do a thorough research, you should do this. If you have information about the customers, mission of the computer, description, products, strength, and weaknesses. So let's see some of the information that we already have. So if we have the uh, description of the computer, we can put over here. We can give the range of products that the computer is selling. provide the strengths the computer has a strong brand loyal customers on the channel and they have a legal license which can be a very important factor especially for that category of product Edit. The computer has any weaknesses. 
tech adoption of the computer has been assessed as low and weak, and the agility of the computer also assessed as a weakness. If the computer has any differentiators, so omnichannel presence, that means they are both physical store as well as online, whereas the product that we are uh, considering only has online presence. And uh, as I mentioned, that home delivery of liquor can be an important differentiator, especially for those customers who are uh, looking for this particular product. So this is uh, gives you a, an overall perspective of what your computer landscape is. So similarly, if there are other computer computers which you are assessing and you need to watch out for, you should put the canvas of those computers in this computers section. 